There has always been a very intriguing study to delineate what is mental health versus mental illness. It goes back many, many, many years. Mental health is generally considered when a person can function in life, can provide for themselves, is doing something productive, can engage in good relationships. And Freud said it's when somebody can work and play. Mental illness is when you can't work or you can't play with a certain degree of satisfa satisfaction and joy. Many people have to go to work, so they work, but they suffer from something that distracts them from being able to really enjoy something. And it's the sense, and I know it's a word that's very large, but it's the sense of feeling good, of feeling connected, of feeling safe, of feeling a joy and a chuckle and a, and, and a sense of groundedness and maybe even a spirituality if, for some people. And that's healthy. And most people, if you ask them what it means to be healthy, they'll say something to the effect of what I've just said. I feel connected, I feel grounded, I feel I have purpose, I don't feel alone. Those types of feelings. Illness is the absence of that. Now, when it comes to illness, it opens up a door that's enormous because we know that there are illnesses that occur from biological phenomena. We know that, thank goodness we know that. A lot of people suffered for heaven knows how many years because they were made fun of or they were thought to be possessed by the devil or something else when in fact they had a biological problem that today we would treat with a, med with a medication and their illness would hopefully, hopefully go away, but at least be controlled. There are a lot of people whose illnesses are psychological. They're involved in relationships that are not good. They don't like their spouses, they don't like their parents, they don't like their jobs, and they've got uh, a sadness about them. This can't be dealt with, med with medications, um, unless there's a medication component to it, but this wouldn't, we need verbal therapies, we need cognitive therapies, we need social therapies. There is a world that's enormous about the effect of poverty on mental illness, and we don't talk enough about it and a lot of people get stuck in it. So is the mental illness that we're seeing the response to not having an opportunity, not being able to get an education, not being able to have enough money to pay for your kid's food? Um, so is that an illness in the sense of a strict mental illness or is it the end product of a uh, environmental issue? It needs to be looked at. So illness is a very large topic captures a lot of entities. But happiness, though it's, it may seem counterintuitive to say it like this, but happiness is a smaller topic because you're happy where you are. Mental health is a relatively small thing because we know what it feels like. It feels good. It can come from a lot of things. Mental illness, however, can come from a multitude of things and we have to be very careful about how we assign etiology to a, an illness state. I think probably the best that people can do is do it as a family. Start as a family. And if you've lost somebody or if you're scared, say, we need to get through this together. That can be more powerful than sitting in a chair, even a good therapist, even a good therapist. If you need a therapist, go for it. If you need medications, they're there. But don't do it alone. Don't do it alone. It's, it's, there, there's nothing more powerful than, how shall I put this, than holding somebody's hand when you're scared or when you're hurt. And all of us, I'm sure, have been to funerals there is something incredibly amazing how people who have never held hands in maybe years hold hands when they're going to the gravesite. It's, it's powerful. So we, we're human beings. We don't need that much. We really are very simple in a lot of ways. We need to touch each other. We need to talk to each other. We need to share food with each other when appropriate, sleep with each other, 
cuddle with each other. That's what we need to do. And in this case, if someone is having a hard time, start with friends, start with family. If it doesn't work, if you need more, then go for it. That's critical, absolutely critical.